hey, you know what? Me and Max here have been getting a little bit too tired of watching the NBA playoffs one night and the Stanley Cup playoffs the next night. And I've come up with a solution. The National Hockey League has to compress their schedule. They play 82 games, same as the NBA. The NHL season starts on the 7th of October. The NBA season starts on the 27th of October. But they end right around the same time. The NHL season ends on the 9th of April, and the NBA season ends on the 13th of April. Why is that? Why are, are both leagues playing finals at this time of the year? It's because the NHL takes too long, all right? Over 82 games, you should, you should be able to finish two weeks earlier. We should be out of the NHL playoffs now, and we should be just watching basketball if that's your cup of tea. The Stanley Cup should have already been presented. So the league has got all kinds of problems as far as I'm concerned, but one is it just takes too long. You've got to be a real diehard fan, either a San Jose Sharks fan or a Pittsburgh Penguins fan or just a hockey nut to be paying attention for this long and to be um, engaged by the Stanley Cup playoffs. The NBA, that's another story, okay? Their season's plenty long too, but it finishes a lot uh, quicker than the NHL season does. Maybe it's because the first round of the NBA playoffs is best three out of the five. I don't know if that's the case. I just, I just find that uh, I was over hockey a couple of weeks ago. They already should have presented the Stanley Cup, and that's my beef against the National Hockey League. I could be bothered by the icing rule. I could be bothered by a few other things, uh, video replay, whatever, but no, it's just the actual length of the season. It's too darn long. It's summer. Everybody should be on the golf course. All right, that, that's it for that rant there, and good luck to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Maybe they can come back against Golden State, although I got to tell you, those Splash Brothers are unbelievable. I could watch those guys all the time. Good for them. Now yesterday's trivia had to do with baseball and I wanted to know who um, um, surrendered the most walks in a game in which he pitched a no-hitter. The answer, 1965, Jim Maloney of the Cincinnati Reds in a 10-inning no-hitter, a win over the Cubs, walked 10 Chicago Cubs and hit a batter as well. Okay, so his line was 10 innings pitched, no hits, 10 walks, one intentional, 12 strikeouts. Jim Maloney, 1965 Cincinnati Reds, threw another no-hitter a couple of years later. So there you go. Today's question has to do with the NBA. The NBA Ironman of all time is with 1,192 consecutive games played, A.C. Green of the LA Lakers. So who is the NBA's current Ironman? Who's got the longest current streak going, consecutive games played in the NBA? You know this guy. You're going to kick yourself if you don't get the answer. But remember, one thing that's very, very important, no Googling allowed, okay? No Googling.